Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil live in Crosby tonight with the few details that Kimco is revealing about the explosion. Sophia? This afternoon, the company offered condolences and apologized to the community for the incident that took place today, but they didn't dive into details to what exactly led up to the fire. The president and CEO of Chemco says this is something that they are investigating. He says they want to figure out what happened so they can secure operations in the future. But tonight, crews are still working. Behind me, police actually have some streets that go to the plant blocked off, and the company told us earlier today that they had firefighters monitoring the site to put out any hot spots if they were to flare up and they were also putting water and foam on the tanks to keep them cool. Two weeks after the ITC fire in Deer Park, people in East Harris County had to experience the backdrop of a black plume of smoke in the sky yet again. Except Tuesday morning's chemical fire happened in Crosby and the outcome was deadly. I stand before you today mourning the loss of a cherished member of our work uh, family. A Chemco employee was killed and two others were flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital in critical condition after a chemical called isobutylene ignited at around 11 a.m. People in and around Crosby say they heard and felt the explosion. Moments later, they saw black smoke. County officials say the fire went from a holding tank and spread to a warehouse filled with, quote, solid goods. But the company isn't saying exactly what type of chemicals were burning inside. I personally don't have that list in front of me. Um, we have provided that information to the required regulatory agency. About six hours after the fire started, the company's CEO and a Chemco operations specialist held a news conference, but were not able to answer questions at the time about how many employees were on site, when their last safety drill happened, or exactly what caused the explosion. At the moment, no one knows with certainty uh, what happened, and I won't speculate. The EPA has been monitoring the air quality. And while Harris County says the EPA did not detect any toxic levels, homeowners, businesses, and schools around the plant were told to shelter in place for several hours. We want to apologize for the inconvenience to residents in the vicinity and the worry that the incident has caused. And this afternoon, reporters asked Chemco about their safety drills and how regularly that they do them. The company says they do them a lot. When asked when was the last one, they didn't know off the top of their heads, but they did say that they had one scheduled for this Friday. Reporting live from Crosby, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.